Na masante sana mtazamaji kwa kuungana nami karibu kwa taarifa kamili. Waziri wa Uchukuzi James Mashari ya pamoja na maafisa wengine wa serikali unatarajiwa kuzuru miradi kadhaa ya serikali katika kaunti ya Mombasa kubaini hatua ambazo zimepigwa hadi kufikia sasa. Wanabari wetu wa Mombasa Tobias Chanji sasa mtazamaji anafuatilia taarifa hiyo na rifi ya kwamba moja kwa moja James Mashari anazungumza na vyombo vya habari. So people across the bridge they used to take five hours to walk to Meritini. Now with the bridge getting finished, they can just cross five minutes and then go to Meritini. So it will make their life a lot easier, a lot better. And then the economic development of that area will be uplifted. And so we are happy with the progress of that uh, project, which is done in collaboration with the Japanese government uh, through Chaika and Japanese company called Fujita. And so we are very, very indeed, uh, very happy with what we have seen. From that project, uh, which will cost us about 24 billion, we have come and inspected the Chagamwe interchange. As you are aware, the Chagamwe interchange is part of this project from Mombasa to Kwajomvu, lot one. And then lot two, from Kwajomvu to Mariakani. The lot one, which is Mobasa to Kwajomvu, the only key outstanding works is the interchange, which you have seen is almost complete. In fact, the entire package from Mobasa to Kwajomvu is 95% complete. What is outstanding is actually the bridge which is connecting from the airport uh, coming to this uh, road. And that we have been assured by the contractor that within one month, uh, that interchange, the bridge from the airport, will be complete. The project from, Mariakan, from uh, Kwajomvu to Mobasa city is about 8.5 billion shillings. And it will really open up the access to Mobasa city. And then we are here, Makuba Bridge, which indeed you can see is a historic project. It is not just a flagship project. This is a historic project where the government of Kenya with GOK funds we have put an investment of 4.5 billion shillings to make sure that we achieve a number of objectives. Number one, people used to get stuck here going to the airport, crossing the causeway, going to uh, Nairobi. They used to get stuck here for about an hour or more just to cross the, the causeway. We have seen that we have opened only one side of the bridge and there's no jam. The jam has disappeared. So people's lives, business, uh, fortunes, you'll be enhanced as a result of the opening of this bridge. This bridge is currently now 85% complete. 85% complete. And we are here to make sure that the remaining 15% is completed within the next one one month we are coming here ahead of the commissioning by his excellency the president who plans to commission it before end of july but you can see the kind of transformation not just of this area of changamwe but also the city of uh, mobasa in terms of accessibility the bridge is 457 meters long one of the longest we have in the region. And then we have approaches from mainland, about 600 meters, and also the other side of the island, about 400 meters. So you'd say the actual works are covering almost 1.5 kilometers. But the transformation is what will be key. In terms of tourism, Mobaza, will, will, will accurately achieve a different status. Up to now, we are unable to market Mombasa as an international island because of the causeway. Water does not flow around the island of Mombasa. By doing this bridge, water will be flowing around the city of Mombasa. And therefore, we can market it from the end of next month as one of the internationally recognized islands. This will bring more tourists to the city of Mombasa. It will create more jobs all the hundreds of thousands of beds in south coast in north coast they'll be filled up because people will see the benefit 
and the enjoyment of coming to the city of Mombasa. We shall make sure the ecosystem around this area is improved because in addition to the bridge, the contractor will do a lot of dredging on the site and then beautify it, make sure people can come here on picnics, you know, make sure that tourists can come and observe what is happening here without getting stuck in a traffic jam. And so we are here to inspect the progress. We started this project in January 2021. We had a few challenges at the beginning, like a project of this size being done in the city. There are challenges all the time. For example, the moving of the utilities like power lines can always be a problem. So whereas we should have finished this project about four months ago, there was a bit of delay because of the, what I've just said about moving of utilities. But now I'm glad that uh, it's almost complete. One side is already functional. And more importantly, we have also made provision for pedestrians. We also made provision for bicycles to come across. Dedicated lanes for bicycles, dedicated lanes for, for pedestrians. This is very important because in addition to motorists, we want to make sure that the non-motorized traffic is also taken care of. There is also a BRT line, the bus rapid transit system. So Mobasa will be even possibly uh, be ahead of Nairobi in terms of implementation of the BRTs. Across, we are also doing the commuter rail. Commuter rail, Mobasa commuter rail, uh, we have rehabilitated the old line at a cost of about 2 billion shillings to make sure that now when passengers come by SGR to Miritini, they can take now the meter gauge which has been rehabilitated, they can take the meter gauge all the way to the city of Mombasa. And so you can see the transformation which will be uh, experienced in Mombasa. Unthinkable. If you look at the general infrastructure, like the Dogokudu Pipers, uh, also known as Southern Pipers, you go to the side of Port Rees, you drive along that road all the way to uh, uh, Miritini Station, you can see the transformation of this city. And indeed, we are very proud. As a government, we are very proud. Our president has been very key to make sure that what was promised, what is ongoing, is completed without any delays. Yes, you are aware, each time the president comes here, he stops here at Makupa Bridge. Every two weeks, we have... Ama kweli mtazamaji huyo ni waziru uchukuzi James Mashari ya kizungumza hapo katika kaunti.